What's up shavers? Welcome to another shaving adventure. So today we're going to be doing another instructional video on how to shave your head with a DE or double edge razor. So a double edge razor looks something like this. Not the one we're going to be using today. I'll show you that in a sec. We're going to show you how to load the blade and then how to shave the head. The soap of uh, that we're going to be using today is called Tabac. So this was an inspiration from my friend Brahm on Tabac Tuesday. This is a, a really original kind of shave soap. This isn't uh, since 1959, may have been around before that, I can't remember. Um, out of Germany, I believe, uh, or at least that's where it says in the back, right here. Great soap, has a very old school traditional kind of scent. Um, the lather is phenomenal. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be using a razor called the Rockwell 6C, standing for chrome. There's different interchangeable plates for aggressiveness levels. And we're going to be using a Permasharp blade. Those come in a pack that look like this. You can get a, about 100 of these blades for around 11 bucks. Um, and I can get two to three shaves out of a blade. So for 11 bucks, that's about 300 shaves. So you're gonna open this little wax packaging here. It's gonna have these little glue dots that's gonna be holding it in. I'm gonna take that out. There is, this is a three piece double edge razor. So we're gonna put the blade in on the, what we call the top cap here. Just like that. Now we're gonna put the bottom plate on. So this has different plates. There's a five, it says R5 right there. And then on the other side, there's an R6, um, just a different aggressive levels. We're gonna put it on the five today. So that simply just slides on to the post here. And then you wanna tighten this down to about just, just snug, just a tiny bit past snug. You don't wanna ratchet down on those. All right, so we just hopped out of the shower. Our head is fully hydrated. Our, that means we're going to get a little bit better of a shave with less irritation. Our hair, is, our hair and skin is going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to be hydrated. And it's going to help with the lather. It's going to help get a better glide. So we're going to go ahead and lather up here. I made the lather before video just so it doesn't take so long. This is a, a hard puck soap. So it takes a little bit longer to lather up. All right. So I like for a head shave, uh, I like to do two with what we call the grain passes and then two against the grain passes. That means you're going to need to kind of map out the direction your hair is growing in. You could just use that with your hands figuring out which direction it's going. Uh, I first start off with my ears so I can put my glasses on because I am pretty blind without them. Shaving your head over time, um, you get kind of a muscle memory and you don't need it as much. You go by feel a little bit by sound. So something with a double-edged razor that you're going to want to know is that you need to clean it out quite often. Uh, it does a good job of putting the lather through these holes so it's not in the way. To be able to find the angle on a, a double-edged razor, you can either sit on the top cap and roll into where the blade starts catching, or you could sit on the bottom cap and then roll up into where it starts catching as well. You always want to go strokes that are, this was with any razor by the way, down, across, and against, but you never want to go any kind of slicing motion like this. Now something that could be a little bit tricky on your head is just that, right? Because these soaps are a lot more slippery, a lot more slickness in them than your traditional canned stuff. 
means uh, that this this little bar right here is going to slide around on your head a lot easier. So you got to be careful when you're pivoting around that you don't go that way because you will cut yourself if you do that. Otherwise, it's not hard to shave with a double-ended razor, especially if you get one that shaves good for your head. I found this one. This one is a pretty heavy razor, uh, the Rockwell 6C. Um, and you just want to go by using the weight of the razor. So light pressure want to do something what we call buffing strokes just these nice short strokes like this and you can hear the razor cutting if you listen to it's what we call feedback the feedback of the razor so you'll you'll be able to hear it right here the closer you get like up here the less you're going to hear and when you barely can hear it at all, that means you've got a pretty close shave already, if not as close as you're going to need. Go ahead and wipe off the uh, ears here so I can put the glasses back on. So I highly recommend using a double-edged razor, especially on your head. A head is a place that can get a lot of irritation and a good soap. A slick enough soap. I think that's out of all of the things in shaving. So right now I'm going with the gra with the grain pass here. All the all the things in shaving, I would say what's missing out in the world today was all of it. <laughs> a decent razor, but slickness. The canned soaps, even though some of them smell real good and they do all right, something like a Barbasol, right? Um, they are not slick enough. And you will have, if you've never used a soap that's slick or made a lather that come out of some of these more kind of custom soaps, which aren't that expensive and they last forever, right? So this thing, this soap of tobacco, this is probably 13, 16 bucks, which kind of seems like a lot, but the, the puck of soap, let's say you were to only use that particular puck of soap, could last you up to a year. If that's the only soap you used, maybe longer. I've had these harder puck soaps for quite a long time. But usually you buy a variety of scents and that'll last you years and years. Which is something that's awesome. Like, Let's say you buy three, four, five over the period of a year just because you find that it's such a phenomenal shave because you're missing that slickness that's in these other soaps. You end up having a few and rotating through them on different days. Like today is Tobacco Tuesday, right? Thanks, Brown, for reminding me. And that... Um, that makes it last a really long time. Kind of like other things, like if you were to buy a pair of shoes and wear one pair every other day kind of thing, like for example, two or three pairs, that makes your shoes last longer, same with clothing, right? So on the back of the head, you're gonna do a little bit by feel. Make sure you're only going down against the grain with this first pass. So this one, I really don't use the mirror. I do it from muscle memory. If you're shaving your head with a double edge razor for the first time, just go slow. Do these little buffing, what we call buffing strokes. Only using the weight of the razor, don't press down. Sometimes I like to listen to music when I shave, but if you're just learning how to shave with a double edge razor, it's better to listen to what the razor is doing here. And it could be hard to turn the razor around on the back of your head when you first start. The reason we do more than one pass is because a good shave is about hair reduction. Wash this out real quick. Yeah, so a good shave is about hair reduction not trying to get it all the first pass, not trying to gorilla through it. Now on the back of your head, you're probably not gonna get all the hair the first pass anyway. 
because you can't see very well back there, right? So don't worry about it. Just do more than one bath. I found that a perfect combo for me. No matter what razor I use, it could be a razor like this Leaf razor right here, which is an awesome razor if you haven't checked out that video. That's a good alternative to shaving your head. Um, I do two with the grain passes and then two against the grain passes. Now I'm not doing buffing strokes on this next one right here because I've already taken a majority of the hair down and I don't, if I needed to, I could, it doesn't really matter. But I find that with the reduction here, I don't need to do those buffing passes anymore. Those buffing passes kind of help you mow down that initial growth. And once you got that initial growth down, you don't need to focus so much like hyper, you know, on those little buffing strokes. You can kind of just go and mow and go. So yeah, for the back, you kind of just feel it. And if you need to bring the razor in front of you, turn it around and then you can use the mirror to place it again on your head. But to be honest with you, it probably only took me one or two shaves, maybe three or four overall to be comfortable with just being able to do my head, especially on the back part, pretty much blind. Don't be afraid to take your other hand here and feel around while you're shaving to see what you missed. Okay, so that knocked down, those two with the grain passes knocked down a majority of the hair, but to get that extra creme de la creme that nice smooth baby butt feel on your head that makes it so addicting to touch and slap and that makes it a bit shiny right but also just makes it look professional is these two against the grain passes now traditionally while you're shaving your face you can do a with the grain pass and against the grain pass another against the grain and sorry not against the grain um across there we go sorry uh down across across and then against i know that seems like a little bit of work but once you switch over to this kind of shaving it becomes really enjoyable it doesn't take very much longer and you get a way more phenomenal shave now with these against the grain passes on the back of the head i do an x pattern here it helps slightly with irritation and not catching there's a, a ridge a ridge back here uh i forget what it's called um but if you go directly straight up it it can cause a little bit of irritation so if you go a, at an angle like that on just that part it'll help avoid the irritation that can happen right there don't be afraid to reapply lather when needed that slickness is absolutely key in shaving. So that feedback is going to really be what's helping you out here on this, on this part. I'm going to try to turn around just so you guys can see. So I'm just shaving by the sound because I have the muscle memory for it down. And it's not hard. And it doesn't take very long. Remember, I'm not pressing. Just letting it glide. Let the razor do the work. These, these double-edged razors don't have a pivot like a lot of the cartridge razors do. And you can see I can do quite a few passes as the lather builds up here underneath, but doesn't necessarily clog it up. Rinse it out periodically, otherwise we'll be getting dirty, hairy lather all over the counter and your shirt. Now the last against the grain pass, you're going to be feeling around a bit to really find those, those areas that you missed.
All right, here we go. You can also do a little bit of skin stretching. It's kind of hard to skin stretch on the head, but when you skin stretch and you pull, it makes the, the skin a little bit tighter and you'll get just a little bit closer of a cut. Most of the skin is already pulled pretty tight on your dome. Now something you want to avoid is over shaving. Over shaving, it can be easy to over shave trying to chase the little hairs and stuff like that. But something you got to remember is your skin's going to kind of tighten back up and your hair's going to kind of shrink under your pores a little bit, especially if you took a shower beforehand to prep your hair. And what that's going to do is make the shave feel even closer. So about five to 10 minutes after you're done shaving, it's going to feel even closer than it did before. That's something that a lot of people forget. And they're chasing, trying to get the smoothest, smoothest, smoothest. If you can get pretty smooth just at the beginning, not at the beginning, but you know, through your passes here, your reduction passes, you're going to have a phenomenally close shave. For me, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist because I, I hate having any kind of stubble on my head at all if I'm gonna go through the effort of shaving. And I'm just gonna do one more here for the heck of it, just a super quick one. I can, I can end up shaving a while and if you use that light pressure and you have a slick enough soap, you'll be surprised how many times you can shave with a double-edged razor, how many passes you can do without getting irritation. You can hear the razor's gotten pretty quiet, which means pretty much everything has been taken down. There's a couple of places here and there. But take your time, it could be, it could take a little while for the first time, you know? your first shave with a, a double-edged razor in your dome. But let me tell you what, it gives you a crazy awesome shave. All right, so something that's gonna be key here now, we're gonna turn the cold water on. We're gonna let that get nice, nice and cold. Take our glasses off here and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do three or four cold water rinses on the head that's gonna tighten everything up, help reduce any irritation, inflammation, Get rid of this residual soap and slickness. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Woo -hoo -hoo. It'll also wake you up in the morning, let me tell you what. Oh man. Now we're gonna go ahead and towel off. We're gonna pat dry here. You don't wanna rub, right? After you just shaved, you don't want to be rubbing your head really hard. So I like to get these microfiber towels that just suck up the extra water. Now that's already, with uh, cold water, that's going to be closing in those pores and feeling real good. Last step, you can apply something like a uh, witch hazel, which we're going to just do a little tiny splash of real quick. I got a pretty much an irritation free shave here. Oh, it feels real good. All right, last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna apply a little bit of this balm. This balm is from a company called Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's their Mysterium Serum Post Shave Balm. Just a little bit. We're actually gonna cut that with a little bit of water in this hand. Heads are normally pretty greasy already. This stuff has like that hyaluronic acid in it and it helps suck all the moisture into your head. And that'll just help with irritation as well. You can use any kind of lotion or balm. Doesn't really matter. If you have a greasy head or tend to have a greasy head, I would wipe it off just a little bit later. This one absorbs pretty well and is really nice for the winter. All right, I hope that helped you uh, learn how to shave with the double-edged razor on your head. And I hope that this series can help some of you guys out there have phenomenal shaves. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next video.